Yo, hello, it's Pavika Sana Revi here and today I will teach you how to make the ghost transition. In this video there will also be a bonus effect and a bonus transition from the intro of the video. If anyone wants to enhance their editing potential, then make sure to check out Revi's website, Editing Visuals, and also watch other tutorials on the channel. If you want to support me as well, my channel will be linked in the description. Let's start the tutorial. First, I recommend having your clips already synced so it's easier to see if the transition works or not. As you can see, I have my clips synced, I can show you how the video Video looks just synced without effects. Here it is. To begin, we have to copy the clip that you want to be transitioned and now paste it. Cut the ending of your clip. Now let's add as dissolve luma. Now go to the ending of the clip and now press on the keyframe of dissolve luma percent and make it 51. Now go just a little back here maybe make it zero copy and paste the first layer as well and cut a little bit of it and now cut it press ctrl alt t keyframe it select some random frames that will be close to each other i'm gonna select 120.8 go to the ending of it make it 120 23 separate it a little bit go back to as the solve luma press f9 to keyframe and go to the graph editor right here we're gonna need to this to the right a little bit just a little bit and this one just a little bit here go back to this portion uh, press f9 go to the graph editor we're gonna make it go up a little bit here maybe this one a little here make them be kind of close to each other like this let's add our first adjustment layer press ctrl r y okay go back to this keyframe need to cut it here you can add two different color effects. You can either add SZ fog linear and you can add the better version for color gradient. And now let's make it purple here. I think I'm going to choose this hashtag and copy it to everywhere. Now go to blend, make it 51. Blending mode, soft light. We can now add deep glow or any other glow that you have, but I like deep glow more because it looks realistic make this 0 0.55 add as flicker and just keep the settings as they are add as invert keep it basic except change this minus 1.790 now that looks pretty cool already oh also mask from layer here and make it your clip add signal i just changed signal strength to 20 for a really important part you add s motion detect which will give you the ghost look personally my favorite effect out of any effect make delay frames 18 as the soul luma make the soul percentage 100 percent go right here keyframe it now add another s motion detect delay frames free add sharpen you can really mess around with this because i i really don't know what looks the best but i make it 555 five, five. we'll go somewhere maybe here press u make the as the solve luma zero make your second clip layer go below the adjustment layer make as the solve luma 100 here press t keyframe the opacity make it 65 percent press u and go around here make it 100 percent Select opacity keyframes and press F9. Go to the graph editor. Make it look like this. All right. Keyframe all of the solve luma percentage by pressing F9. Go to the graph editor. Make this go really down. Right around here. This one a little bit here and there. Go somewhere here to the last keyframe. Delete it. Delete this. Control Alt Y. Cut it to make it two frames. Add colorama, go to output cycle, go here, make it purple, make this one light blue, make this one purple, that's good. Add transform, scale it to 172. In positions, make it 730 on here and 689 here. Go to the last frame where it's already ended. You can add another adjustment layer, Control alt y and make this one just one frame. Add invert and add wave warp, make it smooth noise. Wave height 67, wave width 19, direction 0. Go back to your transition effect layer and I kind of forgot to tell you that you have to add an effect called calculations. Add it on top of the first motion detect that you had where it says second layer, make it 
your clip layer, where it says second layer opacity make it 100%, where it says blending mode hard light, key part. In this effect, you have to go to effects, go down a little bit and go to S invert and go here, compositing options and go to effect opacity and make it 37. Here we go, instantly way better. Go to signal, go to go to compositing options and make this 30. And now we have the ghost transition effect. If you want to preset this, because you totally can, then you should actually delete this opacity, okay? And now add transform, add it on top of everything, keyframe opacity from 100, go to the ending of this and make the opacity 65%. Press U, press F9 on these keyframes while selecting them. Go to the graph editor, make it somewhere like this. I can finally preset this. Press on one of the effects, press Ctrl A. Uh, so we will select every effect. Go to animation and save animation preset. And here you can just save it to whatever you want. I have it already saved to ghost transition. So when you save it, you can just go here, type in ghost transition. We can even delete every effect out of here. Everything's gone. And now we can just re-add the ghost transition. And now you have to just take these keyframes and place them right here. Boom, we have the same thing. We have finished making the ghost transition. We'll now show you how to make the bonus effect and the bonus transition. Both of these require the help of Revy's TV glitch pack, which has a handful of insane looking overlays and presets. You can check out Revy's TV glitch pack on his editing visuals website. So first we have to go to the clip you want to apply this effect on. We have to add key light. Pick this pen tool and put it on the background. This is a perfect background. It's very dark and just press on it. Okay, we've killed it. You can go back to this clip. Wind to where it's around two frames left. So cut. Add key light on this as well. Pick the pen tool, place it. Okay, at this moment, we're going to go to Ravi's TV glitch pack. And here it is. And we're going to pick the third one. Just add it below. Below of this as well. As of now, we have to add a new adjustment layer. Cut it here, where it's two frames left till the transition. Place it a little bit up. And we're going to add S flicker. Just keep the settings as it is. Add deep glow, lower exposure to 0.73. It looks pretty okay right now, but to make this look even cooler, we can go back here and we can just copy the first clip, go back here, paste it here. So make it so it's below the key light. Make the TV glitch overlay blending mode add. I'd say this looks very cool. I think it fits very well there. Go to the next clip. We have also added this dash flicker and deep glow on this next clip. How it looks like this and with it it looks like this. I think that improves it a lot. There's a transition right over here. Here we are going to add another effect from Revy TV glitch pack. We need to delete two frames from here. Add them up here and just push them three frames away like this. Leave three frames here. Press Control Alt Y. So we add another adjustment layer, cut it to three frames and leave one frame here. Here we're going to add an effect from Revy's TV glitch pack called TV glitch effect 9. You can of course use this wherever, but for transitions I found out that it looks very good. And on the last frame we add invert. That's it, we have completely made everything from the intro. I hope this video was useful and I hope that you can use the ghost transition or the bonus effects to create some magnificent looking edits. Remember to try out different settings when making these effects because these settings might not work on the video you are editing. Alright, it has been fun, stay productive and original, see ya.